Hi, my name's Josh, and I'm one of the co-founders here at CodeConnect, and today we're going to be looking at using CodeConnect to implement async await, um, and we're going to actually be implementing async await pattern in CodeConnect itself. So when you're building a UI application, you never want the UI to freeze, but that's currently what happens in CodeConnect, and we'll demonstrate this problem first by using CodeConnect on the Roslyn C Sharp compiler. Um, this is actually the biggest open source C Sharp project that we could find. And what you'll notice is when we navigate around these nodes here, it's not always instant and snappy um, in terms of reacting to the user input. So you can see every once in a while it'll hang and it, it won't, um, it won't uh, be as responsive as we want it to be. And this is a huge problem when designing uh, an application like Code Connect because you want your application to respond quickly. So we'll close down this project and we'll take a look at fixing this problem in Code Connect itself. So we'll close Roslyn here and, and get back into uh, the actual Code Connect base. So when displaying these nodes, um, we we're focused primarily on this this slow piece of code called get called nodes and that's where all the heavy lifting is done I'm um, trying to figure out how to represent the call graph and this is essentially what's causing our application to hang so we've got some code here um, all ready to go what we'll do is we'll first start by making this an async method so we can await the method that's doing the actual work and everything should go go green here in a second. But we'll notice that we've got all these errors down here because anyone who is calling this method now is receiving a task instead of the actual uh, former return uh, type, which in this case was a, ha was a hash set. Hash set. Um, so what we'll do is we'll actually launch Code Connect on this method and we'll explore all the pieces of code um, that call this. And we do this by using left mode. So in Code Connect that's control left arrow and what we have here is all of the pieces of code that call the, the method that we're focused on. And this is a great way to sort of explore and see how we ha could have possibly got into this get called nodes method that we've uh, now created um, or turned into an async method. So we can navigate to the first one here. What we'll do here is we'll, we'll find all the places where um, this piece of code was called and we'll make sure that we're awaiting them appropriately. So first we'll start by adding an await here um, to make sure it's done. And what we'll see right away is that this await operator can only be used within an async method. So we'll go ahead and, and make this an async method that returns a task instead of a void and everything should go green for us. So now we can continue back up the chain and find all the places that call this method, which in this case is called remove member from call graph, and we can make them uh, async one by one as well. So make that a task, that returns this abstract kiwi callable, and now we want to make sure that we're waiting, and now that um, Now that everything's done there, it should check out. So we'll, what we'll do here is we'll continue going up the chain and we'll make sure that we're making the return types asynchronous returning tasks and that we're properly awaiting any other asynchronous calls. So we'll use Code Connect to explore Roslyn again and we'll keep an eye out for the changes that we made and hope that the UI doesn't hang as much when we're navigating these different nodes. So we'll launch Code Connect in the same spot uh, within Roslyn. And the first thing we notice is that the UI is a lot more responsive even before it manages to load the next set, next set of nodes. It still allows us to uh, navigate up and down. And it's got a much snappier feel to it and it's definitely something we want out of um, a, a GUI application like this one. Thanks for watching our video. We'll be releasing an update to Code Connect early next week that should allow you to work with solutions of any size.